Now, I know I'm just a guy who uploads goofy Minecraft videos that aren't serious or political, but you know, today, today I feel like just once standing up for the truth. You see, it has been a year on the dot, assuming I managed to upload this on the right day, which I highly doubt, since the war on Gaza. You see, on October 7th, there was this militant group which went by the name of Hummus. Now, Hummus, for absolutely no reason whatsoever, randomly decided to raid its very peaceful. We are seeking peace. We are peace seekers. And most moral in the world. <laughs> neighboring country it is real now this attack which completely came out of the blue happened because hummus are the bad guys you see hummus militants dressed like lloyd from the lego ninjago movie and that movie got bad reviews thus we can conclude that hummus is bad you see when hummus decided to write the most moral country it is real they committed all sorts of war crimes so many war crimes that definitely happened that i can't show or mention because it is not safe for youtube you see although i don't have any evidence for all of these war crimes the most moral country in the world it is real told us that they happened so why shouldn't we believe them after all hummus decided to raid a music festival with intention oh sorry hold on it uh looks like hummus did not have advanced knowledge about the music festival well it doesn't change the fact that they killed all of those huh oh, really well uh Anyways, <laughs> we don't have to pay attention to that. After all, uh, Hummus are the bad guys. After all, it is definitely real. Told us so. I mean, uh, look at all those burned cars. Surely, Hummus's non-advanced weaponry can cause all this damage. <laughs> There's no way that this could have happened from an Apache helicopter. <laughs> Come on, guys, stop being anti systematic. Now, moving on from the music festival, you see, Hummus also attacked other places, including small little towns known as the Kibbutz. I mean, man, look at the damage that Hummus caused. Seriously, look at that. Look at Hummus's weaponry, and then look at the damage. Hell, look at this Hummus operated tank. Wait, what do you mean it's not Hummus operated? You mean to tell me that Hummus doesn't have tanks? Well, that doesn't change the fact that Hummus killed 1,400 civilians, and that's a fact. Sorry, hold on. I just been informed that they killed uh, 1,200 civilians. And that's a fact. Sorry, hold on. I just been informed that 300 of them were militants. Uh, 900 civilians killed by Homos. And that's a fact. <sighs> Sorry, man. Hold on. I I've just been informed that some unconfirmed number have actually been killed by the it is definitely real military. Man. The number just keeps changing all the time as more time passes, huh? Well, at least it is real as giving us a definitive and trustworthy number, <laughs> right guys? Now, uh, let's look at the amount of civilians allegedly killed in Gaza. As you can see, the Hamas-run health ministry says 40,000 dead. But we also know that Hamas are the bad guys, so we can't trust them. Despite the fact that Hamas is both the ruling government that is ran by civilians and military that was originally run by a separate group, let's be real here. We can't trust them. Why? Because as absolutely definitely real said so duh and remember kids it didn't happen but they deserved it because over a million children voted in the elections in 2006 for homeless to be the ruling party granted they weren't born yet but we need some sort of justification for it is absolutely definitely real crimes that aren't being committed because they aren't being committed and if you say they are you're anti-systematic now going back to the topic of october 7th homeless also took with it some civilians as hostages i mean look at this video of some random civilian dude who got his hands on some it is absolutely definitely 100 percent real elderly civilian <laughs> I'm gonna be real with you. I actually have no. I could not tell you how this guy managed to kidnap her. Like, this dude does not look like a militant. But I'll tell you one thing for sure. Homos. You see, Homos has been mistreating all of its hostages and giving them the worst possible life ever. Here's a little boy telling of his experience. <laughs> <laughs> Absolutely disgusting. I mean, cucumbers? They couldn't have given bro some real food? Like hummus? I mean, these guys are acting like there's a whole blockade stopping food, water, and electricity from entering the territory. <laughs> Good thing that our heroes, that it is absolutely, definitely, 100% for real military, went and saved the And they shot and killed three of the hostages. Furthermore, it seems like some of the hostages were killed in some airstrikes, but it is absolutely, definitely, 100% for real military. I mean, you can't blame the third strongest military in the world to make a mistake in terms of saving its own civilians. After all, Hummus also killed some hostages, so you can't blame it is absolutely, definitely, 100% for real. You see, Hummus did it intentionally because we said so, and it is absolutely, definitely, 100% uh, for real, uh, did it as just a little oopsie, a goof. 
you know? It was just a little goofy, a little goofy, you know? It was just a goof. It was just for laughs, you know? Just, how, why aren't you laughing? Uh, if you disagree, you're anti-systematic. And this is just like all the civilians that didn't die, or the journalists that didn't die. And if they did, they were hummus, because they didn't die. But they deserved it. I mean, look at what the journalists wear. It says press on it. And you guys know what press stands for? Unprecedented attack by hummus on October 7th. Or the World Central Kitchen workers who were also airstruck. You see, it was an oopsie. It didn't happen, and they deserved it. Same goes for Al-Hadi Hospital, the flower massacre, and Al-Mawasi attack. As for the mosques that were destroyed, all the churches that were destroyed, and all the hospitals, bombs, and all the safe zones desecrated, well, they were actually Homos command centers. What's my evidence? Uh, uh, look at this list of the Homos operatives. Sunday, Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, and Saturday. These are the names, definitely not just days of the week. Now I know what you may be thinking. I'm not from the Middle East, so why should I care? Well, my dear American friend, you see, your glorious government has been funding that it is absolutely, definitely 100%, no doubt about it, for real government in the billions. And all of that money is being put to great use to take out Hamas. Remember, we have no choice but to fund. It is absolutely, definitely, 100%, no doubt about it, for real, because, well, it is our only ally in the Middle East and the only democracy in the Middle East. Ignore the fact that the majority of the money being used is to kill civilians because that's not happening, even though they deserve it. And the rest of the money is being absolutely destroyed by militants who are way less equipped than that it is absolutely definitely 100% real. No doubt about it for real military, while American civilians are struggling to homelessness, drugs, and recent storm. Remember, keeping the Middle East from growing powerful and embracing the religion to the fullest is the world's utmost priority. Now, there's a lot of things that we can talk about that's happened during this year of the war, and it is absolutely a lot, so much, you know, such as the assassination of a polit sorry, a terrorist leader. Demonstrators being arrested regardless of their first constitutional rights, which, you know, they were definitely being arrested for being anti-systematic, by the way. And the recent terror attack that is absolutely, definitely, 100%, no doubt about it, no cap, for real, instigated in lesbianism. <laughs> instigated in lesbian on, followed by its invasion. But there's just no time to talk about all of it, you know? So many things are happening, but there is no time for that. You see, I have to work my 9 to 5, pay my taxes, and eat food that literally kills me. And if it doesn't kill me, well, it also funds the people killing the Palestinians, which isn't happening, but they deserved it. And any time I get that's free, well, it's not going to be used to make a change for the world. It's going to be used for my own mental health, because I have no time to deal with life, only myself. So the moral of the story is, kids, that... Well, I don't really know. I just know that it almost tastes pretty good. I won't lie. And I'll end it off with a free Palestine.